So I have natural hair and I'm wearing a shirt with a Hungarian horn tail on it. You know what that means? Actually it means absolutely nothing. That's just my current state of being. So I thought today I would do a question and answer video for all of you. So I went on the Twitter machine and asked you guys to ask me questions and bam, look what happened. So let's get this thing started. Kate Back 1029 asks, What's the longest you've been in a relationship and the shortest amount of time you've been in a relationship? The longest relationship I've been in was like a year something like that? Well, math was never my strong suit. And the shortest relationship I've ever been in was I think 48 hours in seventh grade. Yusaria27 wants to know, what is my favorite food? And I've come to the conclusion that my favorite food as <laughs> embarrassing and boring as it might be, it's split pea soup. I'm addicted. Ontario fan wants to know if you could go back in time about five years ago and tell yourself about your life now, would you believe it? No, no, and no. Five years ago, I would have been 15 years old, just going into my freshman year of high school. Yeah, 15 year old me was a sight for sore eyes. Insert slideshow. In the No, never, 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 never would have believed it. I honestly wouldn't even believe you told me if I got out of that awkward face. And you know what? We're gonna pretend I got out of that awkward face. Gumlover2819 wants to know, how do I stay positive all the time? When you put positive vibes and positive energy into the universe, I really feel like all of those come straight back to you. Nothing really good comes out of being negative, and I think people have kind of romanticize the idea of being really angry and negative and upset all the time and it's not a good feeling to feel like that and to constantly be bashing other things and having bitchy be deemed as cool. I think it's kind of become a humorous thing now with like Tumblr and things like that but at the end of the day if you keep putting negative vibes out into the universe that's what you're gonna get right back and I think for me I've really realized being positive not only makes me feel happier and just having a positive outlook on life changes my mood and my attitude on a daily basis but it also makes other people happier. Now that you are your own talk show host, Megan, because that really sounded like Oprah. Kristen Plummer wants to know, how do you become successful on YouTube? Now I think there are tons of different levels of success on YouTube. I still have a very hard time admitting that I'm successful. I'm like, I don't know what happened. I just think that there's like 600,000 people who had a momentary lapse of judgment and had subscribed to the weird girl with the Harry Potter reference t-shirt. But my number one advice to somebody who wants to become successful on YouTube is find another reason why you want to make YouTube videos. If you just do it for you and then you realize that other people are enjoying it as well and then that leads to your success, that's awesome. But if you go out there with the mindset of, oh, I want to succeed, I want to be the best, I want to be the next this person, I want to do this, I want to get this, all that stuff, it's not going to be fun for you at all. Have lots of lots of lots of fun, but safe fun. Don't go dropping off a bridge and telling me I said that. Kay Maroney wants to know, what was my senior quote? So if you guys do this in your high school yearbooks, we had like a senior quote, so underneath our senior picture, it had a quote. And my quote was, I walk alone in this world, alone I walk, except for the grilled cheese sandwich in my pocket. It's from Boy Me's World. My friends and I picked really weird quotes. Aza FK96 wants to know, have I ever traveled somewhere out of the USA? If yeah, then where? I have traveled outside the US one time. I went to the Netherlands. My family is Dutch on my mom's side. They're like extremely, extremely Dutch. So when I was like eight, nine, ten, in that awkward chubby crop top Mary Kate and Ashley phase in my life. In the love traveling so much. I want to go to Europe, I want to go to India, I want to go like Thailand everywhere in the world. But in the near future, I'm actually going to Aruba for my 21st birthday. Not turn up at all because homegirl's a grandma. Um, and I think I actually have a couple of other fun tropical excursions. Speaking of, I should probably get my passport. Ooh. And the last question, Molly X Chase wants to know, do I think Elena should be with Stefan or Damon? Like honestly guys, I'm so obsessed with the Vampire Diaries. I have been a die hard Stefan and Elena fan since the beginning. I have a really hard time changing who I ship people with, if that's a fun fact about me. If they immediately in the TV show put the main girl and the main guy together, I will forever want them to be together. Ross and Rachel, always. But I, okay, that's, that's an obvious one. Unless the guy is a total D-O-U-C-H-E, B-A-G douchebag. I'm gonna want them together. The one time that I remember that I changed who I shipped someone with was from Caroline and Tyler. Love. You may or may not be really liking Caroline and Klaus. <gasps> I'm sorry, Tyler. And if you're really confused because I'm just name dropping a whole bunch of fictional characters on a vampire show, fix that. 
because it's so good. Also, I need another show to watch on Netflix. Please let me know what I should start watching on Netflix because I just finished One Tree Hill and I may or may not have cried in my bed for like three days. I'm having a very hard time moving on, so I need something new. It's like boyfriends. You're like, I'm sad, I need a new boyfriend. And then you're like, whoa, no one wants to date me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you oodles and oodles, and I will see you next time. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what my typical nighttime routine is.